Hey, this is Ken Finnan at Capital Advantage Tutoring. It's my job to get you past the SIE exam. Just call me the Series 7 Whisperer. But we're talking about the SIE today. So a lot of people have trouble knowing like if you buy an option versus exercise, what happens and where the money goes. So I'm going to do a very simple chart that's going to help you keep that in mind and keep it on track. So let's do this. Okay, so here we go. So we buy a call, sell a call, buy a put, sell a put. Now, I have two things. We have when we trade it and when it's exercise or assigned, right? If you buy the option, you exercise. If you sold the option, you're assigned. So let's start with the first one. So if you buy a call, you're going to pay the premium and it settles T plus one. Boom. So when you buy a call, you're going to pay the premium and then it settles next day T plus one. When it's exercise, right? When you buy a call, it's exercise. You're going to buy the actual stock. You're going to pay the money for the stock and you're going to get the stock and it settles T plus two. So when you buy a call, you pay the premium, settles T plus one. When you exercise, you're going to actually buy the stock. You're going to pay money for the stock. So money goes out. You're going to get the stock and that settles on a T plus two basis because that's you're getting the stock. Let's go to the next one. You're right or short a call. You're going to get the premium and you're going to get the next day because it settles T plus one. Now, when you exercise, you actually, when you sell an option, you're going to be assigned, which means the buyer exercised, you assigned, you're going to sell the stock, you're going to get money because you sold the stock, you're going to deliver it to the person, and it settles T plus two. These are all little things to remember. So when you go, when you see a question that goes, what happened, you can just go down the list. Now, next one, buying a put. If you buy a put, you're paying money, you're going to pay the premium, again, it settles T plus one. When it's exercised, you're going to sell the stock. You're going to get money because you sold it, and you're going to deliver the stock on a T plus two basis. So you see exercise is all T plus two, trade is all T plus one. Now, when we sell a put, we're going to get the premium. It's going to settle the next day at T plus one. And then when it's exercised, or if we sold it, it's actually assigned. We're going to buy the stock because we have to. We're going to pay the money for the stock, and we're going to get the stock. And that's going to be on a T plus two basis, which I should write down. So let's try that. Let's put that here so we don't, don't fuck it up and you can look at it. Well, it would help if I did it in black. T plus two basis. Okay. So that's where this is. This is a good one. These are equity options. Okay. Now we're going to do non-equity options. See you in a second. If you like this so far, please hit like. Subscribe, share this shit to people, and don't forget to join my live Q&A every Tuesday and Thursday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Be there. Look at that. We're back to the end. These are non-equity options. What are non-equity options? Non-equity options, okay, are like index options, VIX options, currency options, interest rate options, any option where it's not equity. So it's a little different on this. So the good thing is it doesn't really matter what you do. Buy a call, buy a put. I'm not going to go into the bull bear part because you understand that. If you buy a call, a non-equity or an index option or index put, you're going to pay the premium, right? We pay the premium. That stuff's easy, okay? And it's always going to be T plus one. Makes it easy. So it sounds like trading is always T plus one. That's awesome. Now, when you're exercised, you're actually going to receive the in the money ITM, the in the money amount or the intrinsic, okay? That's what you're getting, the amount above or below. If it's a call, the amount above the strike price, and if it's a put amount below, that's what you're getting. The intrinsic or the in the money amount, you're, that's what you're receiving, and you're receiving it on a T plus one basis. Easy stuff. <clears throat> when you sell a call or sell a put, obviously, you're going to get premium, okay? You're going to receive premium, and again, that's going to be on a T plus one basis because it seems like trading is always T plus one. I'm really excited about that one. And then we have, when you sell a call or sell a put, you're actually going to have to pay the in, in the money amount or the intrinsic, okay? The, and basically what that means is you're going to have to pay the difference between the strike and the market price. Again, we have other options to go over that. That's also on a T plus one basis, okay? I like that exclamation point. I should leave it in there. So here we go. Index, non-equity options, index, currency, interest rate, VIX. Buy a call, buy a put. When you buy it, you pay the premium. T plus one basis, it settles. And if you exercise, you're going to receive money. Doesn't matter, call or put. You're going to receive the in the money amount. That, and that's what you're getting. That doesn't mean it's your profit, but that's what you're getting. And on the other side, if you sell a call or sell a put, that's a non-equity option. 
when you sell that, you're going to get the premium on a T plus one basis. And then when it's exercised or you're assigned, you're going to have to pay the in the money amount or the intrinsic on a T plus one basis. I hope that helps. Um, I made it really quick. I'm hoping to have it out there by tonight before I just got 10,000 subs. So I'm super happy, super psyched. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please feel free to join my membership, join my lives on every Tuesday and Thursday night. They're super free. I have a whole SIE complete playlist. I have memberships where you can just pay 20 bucks a month and get all the option videos you like way deeper than this for the seven. If you're taking the SIE exam, don't worry about the membership. It's not going to help you as much. It's more for the series seven and beyond. Everyone, y'all have a good night and please like, subscribe and to share.